has to be this big, this around this big, uh -huh. and it must have this log. You mean? Yes, this log and big. It, not, it not depends on your size or your yes, size. Yes, it depends, but the standard. But but the standard size has to be at least this long, not this small or this wide. Okay, and the skateboard must have must must have two trucks which hold the four wheels. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Do you? Two trucks. Two trucks. Two trucks. Two trucks. Oh, I'll throw it out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, there are three, part, three main parts. You must imagine we've never seen a skateboard in our life. No, this is more the technicality. Yeah, okay, right. so we don't know, so you draw. Alright, the first main component is the deck, which is the wood. Okay, the wood. Right. And the two parts that hold the wheels together is the truck, which Oh, it holds the wheels together. It holds the four wheels together. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. This is the deck. These are the two trucks, and these are the four wheels. And you need to know that this is the, the shape and the proper board. Mm -hmm. Not boards that are like this, this, this. This two wheels, <laughs> or this. These are these, these are, are not, not the proper one. Okay. Okay. This is the proper one. All right. So that is the first step in is to recognize how a proper skateboard looks like. Uh -huh. Okay. The second step is to go is to go to a proper skate shop. <laughs> okay. Do not buy a skateboard from, from Giant. Giant or Maidin or. <laughs> Maidin. <laughs> Proper skate shop. Yes, that is a very important thing. <coughs> and because this is because this is because we want the skateboard to be in the best condition, to have professional and durable materials, and most importantly, and most importantly, the safe. Safety, the safety issues regarding skateboard. If you buy a skateboard from my den, if you buy a skateboard from from my den. And worst of all, and worst of all, you might break your head if you don't. So, <laughs> so, but this is actually true. I've seen so many people breaking their heads because they, they buy the wrong stuff. So what? They, like they almost crack their head. Yes. The, the cheeks and yeah. Because the board cannot last, and it's not durable enough to withstand the pressure that you know uh -huh. when skateboarders land tricks. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. That is the second main point. The third main <coughs> point is to ask for advice or assistance from the skateboard manager or anyone who's handling the skate shop because they they have had a lot of experience with keep with for helping people to choose the right skateboard to use. So that is very important. And and when and when they recommend. And when they recommend, they will first ask you your experience. Yes, they will first ask you your experience, your general knowledge of a proper skateboard, and they will help you evaluate the most suitable, the most suitable, the most suitable, and the best skateboard for you to ride on. So that is why I urge all of. Let you, me repeat. Let me repeat the three main steps again in choosing in buying the proper skateboard. The first. Is to know how a skateboard looks like. That is the proper shape and size. Good. The second step is to go to a proper skate shop. Yes. And the third main point is to ask for some advice. Always ask. Do not be shy. All of them will welcome you admirably. So I. So these are the three main points, and I urge you. All of you to follow my advice. My I keep my advice. And uh, when buying, when buying a proper skateboard, and I guarantee, and I guarantee that you will not regret. You will not regret. You will not regret following my advice. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you.